Today's Food for Thought comes from the 8th chapter of Jeremiah, the 8th and the 9th verse, which reads, How can you say we are wise and the law of the Lord is with us? Look, the false pen of the scribes certainly works falsehood. The wise men are ashamed. They are dismayed and taken. Behold, they have rejected the word of the Lord. So what wisdom do they have? Now, here are one of those questions that you will find in scripture where the Lord, he poses a question to man that would stop and would stump us in our tracks today. Many of us, we like to put God in our rearview mirror, don't we? As we go through life believing that we don't need God for anything. Some of us, we are so wise in our way that we not only believe that we don't need God for anything, but we'll go out and we will tell others that, hey, you don't need God as well. This is often done with the thought that others are being helped to go beyond the limits of religion. They are being helped to expand their minds. Now, the people that express this way of thinking, they are doing nothing that is brand new under the sun. You see, in these two verses here from the eighth chapter of Jeremiah, the Lord, he was speaking through the prophet to those who were saying that they were wise. The Lord, he questioned their wisdom because those that were proclaiming to be wise they were living in rejection of the law. And so because the law, which is again given by God, it is a law that is holy, it is a law that is righteous. Again, it is the wise instructions of God. The Lord, he was curious as to what was it that was making them wise since they weren't living by his instructions. I ask today, to all those that proclaim to be wise, what is it that makes us wise? I'm honestly not certain. Yes, we have our advancement in technology. Yes, we have our advancements in science. Yet, look at us as a society today. We are still easily led astray to to treat each other wickedly as we fail to prosper as a society, as we fail to uplift each other as a people. Some will say, well, what has God done? God isn't making anything better, but the onus actually falls on us to love one another. The onus falls on us to uplift each other in the love that God has shown to us mankind. Until we can find a way to truly uplift each other, which is what the word of God desires, how can we, mankind, how can we ever truly boast about our wisdom? I hope my thought for today has given you something to think about, and I hope that it will encourage you, that it will uplift you and that it will motivate you as well. Be sure that you share this thought with someone somewhere. And if you haven't already done so, make sure that you're following this channel so that you can always receive my next Food for Thought.